Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan Simmons, GIS Student Assistant here at Fresno State, and today we will be covering how to download, install, and sign into ArcGIS Pro. By the end of this video, you should know where to find the files for ArcGIS Pro, how to install the program files, and how to sign in. Now, let's get started. Please feel free to pause the video and explore or take your time as we continue. The first thing we need to do is sign into our Fresno State email. To do this, please log into your Fresno State email account in your browser. You will not be able to access the shared Google Drive to download the files without first signing into your Fresno State email account. Here, in Chrome, I am signed into my Fresno State email. This is required for both faculty and for students. In a new browser tab, we are going to the following web address. You may pause the video here and copy the link on screen or get it from the description down below. Here, we are taken to the Fresno State GIS Hub sign-in page. There are two options, the ArcGIS login and the Fresno State Organizational login in blue. We are going to click on the Fresno State login. This will redirect us to the Campus Login Services page. You will need to sign into this to access ArcGIS Online. Enter your information and sign in. After you have entered your information and completed your duo verification, you should be taken to the Fresno State GIS Hub. Once on the landing page, to get started, we need to go to a new browser tab. Here, we are going to search for the following. Fresno State Library. We will be clicking on the first result. Here, on the library landing page, we are going to navigate to the ribbon and click on Services. Here, we will scroll down and click on Geospatial Information Services. Here, in the top bullet point, we are going to click on the hyperlink titled GIS Software. Here, we are going to click on the hyperlink in blue next to the word Google Drive titled Here. This will take us to the shared Google Drive where all of the ArcGIS Pro software is located. Here, the most recent version is 3.4. Previous versions are also available. We are going to click on More Actions and download this zip file. Once your zip file is completed, it will be ready for download and appear in your browser. Wait for the files to finish downloading in your browser. Once your files are done downloading through your browser, we are going to navigate to File Explorer and open them up in our Downloads folder. Once in our Downloads folder, we are going to click on and extract the zip file folder ending in 003. When this is done, a new File Explorer window will appear. In the window, double click on and open the file folder. Double click on and run the .NET file with inside it. Clicking on Install will give you a Windows pop-up warning asking if you really want to allow the program to run. Click Run and proceed. Once the program extracts and finishes, you may click Close. Closing the File Explorer window that was opened with the extraction and navigating back to the Downloads folder, double-click on and run the ArcGIS Pro application. Once the program files have opened, make sure that the Install Wizard has selected your Documents folder to install the program files. This should be correct by default. Once you have verified that this is correct, click Next. Now, allow for the extraction to complete. This may take some time. Once this is finished, click Close. A Windows installer will open automatically and click Next. Click Next again and read through the user and license agreement. Once you have read through it, click I accept and Next. Here, select where on the computer you want this to be available, either for a specific user or all users. I am selecting a single user. Click Next, and here you are brought to the AI Features tab. 
by clicking the little X, you can either enable or disable features for AI capabilities with ArcGIS Pro. For this install, I will not have any AI model capabilities. Once you have made your selection, click Next. Here, you may opt in to the participatory experience program. If not, click Install. Here, allow for the install to complete. This may take several minutes. Once it is done, click Finish. Here, ArcGIS Pro will open. Now that we see the login page, we are actually going to close the program. There is one more program we need to install first. Back in our Downloads folder, we are going to click on the zip file ending in 002 and extract. Once this is complete, in the new File Explorer window, double click on and open the file folder. Here, click on and run the Data Interoperability Program. Here, with Documents selected, click Next. Allow the extraction to complete. Once this is done, click Close. A new window should appear. Click Next. Click Next again and read through the end user license agreement. Once you have read through it, click I accept and next. Here we see that the data interoperability program has located ArcGIS's files in your documents folder. Click next. Click install and allow for the program files to be installed. This may take several minutes. Once it is done, you may click Finish. Now that we are done installing our program files, either by hitting the Windows key or using the taskbar search bar, search for and open ArcGIS Pro. With ArcGIS Pro now open, I'm going to close my Downloads folder and my web browser. Here, we are going to click on your ArcGIS organization's URL. Here, in the search area, we are going to type Fresno State, all lowercase, as one word, clicking Continue. Here, we are going to click on the blue option for Fresno State. Here, we are redirected to the campus login services. We are going to enter our username and password and log in. Once we have completed our dual verification, we can decide whether to allow it to remember this device. Once you are done, ArcGIS Pro will initialize for the first time. Now that it is open, you are signed into your Fresno State email account with ArcGIS Pro. Congratulations! You now know how to download, install, and sign into ArcGIS Pro. Should you need any further help, Please browse the other videos we have here explaining other GIS topics or make an appointment online to speak with us at the Geospatial Information Services. Thank you for watching and learning more about installing ArcGIS Pro.